So we're going to look at converting square inches to square yards. And to do this, we're first going to look at the one-dimensional measurement, which is just inches to yards without worrying about the square. So there's 12 inches in one foot. And there's three feet. Let's change these to plural, three feet in one yard. So the way I like to convert is using conversion factors. And the way you do that, the easiest way to do that for me is to solve for one. So what I'm gonna do is rewrite this first equation. So I'm going to take feet, I'm gonna divide by one foot. So that's 12 inches divided by one foot uh, equals one. So I just took this equation and I divided by one feet or one foot. And so now I have 12 inches in one foot. You could also think about this as 12 inches per foot. So 12 inches per is divided by one foot. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second equation here. So I'm gonna divide by one yard. So we have three feet per one yard. And this also equals one. So if I wanna go all the way from inches to yards, I multiply these together. So we have 12 inches divided by one foot times three feet divided by one yard. And I get to cancel the feet because we have feet divided by feet, they cancel. And you multiply fractions, multiply across the top, then the bottom. So 12 times three is 36. And our units, the only unit left is inches. So 36 inches divided by, on the bottom one, the feet is gone. So it's one times one is one yard. So this tells me there's 36 inches per yard, or 36 inches in a yard. Now you could have grabbed a yardstick and counted them out, uh, but <clears throat> this is inches in one yard. Now of course we're trying to go square inches into square yards. So probably the easiest way to do that is take this right here and square it. So we have 36 inches divided by one yard and we're gonna square it. The way you square a fraction is you distribute the square to the numerator and to the denominator. So it's 36 squared inches square, or square inches, divided by one square yard squared. And 36 squared, I probably should have done this ahead of time, is a big number. I'll square it right now. So we got 36 squared. Uh, and I'll just fill in that number later. Uh, <clears throat> so this is square inches per square yard. Sometimes you'll see the units in SQIN divided by SQYD. So that'll be square inches per yard. All right, so let's square 36, one, two, nine, six. All right, so that's square inches per yard. Now it may seem like a lot, but remember if you drew out this uh, grid, if you drew out a one yard by one yard grid and then drew a bunch of boxes, you would draw a lot of boxes. It would be 36 across, 36 down. I will not draw 36 across and 36 down because I don't have much time, but however many I'm drawing across and down is about eight and eight, there'll be about 64 in here total. That's why there are so many more square inches in a square yard compared to inches in yards. If you need a volume, meaning cubed, uh, this fabric problem doesn't need that, but for cubed, all you would do is the analogous uh, thing we did previously, you would just cube it. So instead of squaring, you would cube. So 36 inches divided by one yard. Cube this whole thing. That gives you 36 cubed inches cubed divided by one yard 
now one cubed yard cubed. And you can multiply 36 times 36 times 36 to get this number. Uh, but if you did have to go from cubic inches to cubic yards, this is how you would do it.